Yes, Mickey Lex back tonight. Tonight we've got to show you the Ostromi. Now I've done Ostromi quite a while ago. I thought I'd go back and have another look. As you can see, this is no CPU or nothing like that. Pretty good. It looks a little bit different, but all the stuff that's been done is under the hood really, so the desktop is really left alone as it was before, so it looks really, really similar. As usual, they do desktop backgrounds. Very, very nice. Everyone I've used on this has been really, really nice to the eye. There you go, there you go, Genie's there, your browser is Chromium by default, that's pretty nice isn't it? I thought so anyway. My internet's not too bad tonight, so what I'll do, I'll type in Australia. There we go, look at that. And we'll go to the wiki, wiki, wiki. Go to the top one, tap on there even. And this takes you back to the wiki. Now it says here's a business card size distribution. Well it's a bit bigger than that now. It's around about 100 odd mega, I can't actually remember exactly. But if I have Pentium 2 or later, and you can run it with as little as 128 megabytes of RAM. Just make sure you've got a bit of swap on the old hard drive, and that will give you a bit of help to run everything you want to. So that's pretty nice. Yes, yeah, so that was for Skype for instant messaging and voice chat. M player for your playing of your M stuff. Office, of course, going to be Abbey Word, and I've already done plenty of stuff on that, so I'm not going to go too much into that. You've got a search tool for searching for your files. Services. I will click on that. Basically, tells you how much CPU you're using, how much RAM, how much you swap, how much loaded on the CPU, etc., etc., etc. That's pretty cool. So if I come out of that, I get this error every time, but it doesn't seem to do anything wrong. So you know, it doesn't crash. That's pretty cool. So we'll close them down. You've also got network services, desktop, execute and quit. So that's hunky dory. Tap on the old mouse, and you get this wallpapers. Had some other ones I got here. Really nice, aren't they? Really, really nice. They've done plenty of work there. Very, very good. Well, you can change the windows, etc. Games, quite a few games, considering it's so small. That's not too bad either. Development, Genie, Virtual PC, and Remaster, Ostromi. That bit I do like. Although I've not tried it on Ostromi yet. Then play sweep CD and DVD burning. Gimpy's here. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's we'll open the Gimp up. We're we'll bringing him out of his box. And as you know, first time you start GIMP, every time it's always a bit slower. But hey, that's a first time. So if you get a persistent uh, install on the USB with this, it'll be nice and quick next time you boot it. So there you go. Nice, nice, nice. We'll go down to about to see what version of GIMP you're running. 269. Pretty nice. I like. Let's come out of that and go on to the next subject of looking. So anyway, we'll go a bit down there. Da -da -da -da. Graphics, as I said, Inkscape is there. That's pretty cool. Settings, languages, keyboards, services, system information, system tools, install to hard disk. Still don't work for me, just don't want to know. Install to USB, works. Link phone for link phone stuff, wget for getting stuff, transmission for transmitting, etc. Office, Foxit Reader, G Numeric, Home Bank, Abbey Word, I just showed you. Accessories, you get a calculator, all the usual stuff. Star, whatever that was, I missed that one, but never mind. So, yeah. That's all pretty cool. What else can I was going to show you? We'll get into, you know, not too much really, but we'll do some other stuff. We'll open up the calculator. Nice and quick, look. You do need a calculator sometimes, don't you? Even though you think you never use one ever again because of all your phones nowadays. So, yeah. So, what else should we do? Not a lot. Or is there? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll go down to internet. We'll open XChat up. Now, some of you may use this, some of you may not. You know, it depends. But so what we do, we'll go to the free node network and we'll connect to there. We're just going to do the names as they are, I ain't going to change them, just leave them as they are. So we're going to connect and just wait for it to find the host name, etc. 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 You know what I'm saying? Sometimes this can be really quick, sometimes really slow. So we just have to wait, don't we? And wait, and wait. Hey, in the dome. So anyway. Ended up putting the channel you want to go to, so I'm going to put in Mix, which is a virtual DJ software place. As you know, because I've done the old video on it quite a while ago, about a week ago, something like that. And as you can see, if you do go here, there's plenty of people online, although some of them may be asleep. Who knows? But yeah, XChat works just fine. Now, on Stromy, if you're a small distro, run it from USB, I deal with just enough on there for you to get by with, really. And you can add stuff. So anyway. That's enough from me. I like it. Show me four out of five. I'm out. Bye bye.